I think what most people are very excited about when they come to this market is just how big it is and how old it is. I mean, this market is 206 years old. And at one time, you know, farming was done right here in the city. Uh, you know, the great farmland of the, of the city of Toronto were within, you know, two or three blocks of St. Uh, Lawrence uh, Market. But as Toronto grew, so did its market. Eighty percent of the meat that's sold here in the market is, uh, is Ontario, is with a hundred miles of, of St. Lawrence Market. There's there's foods here that uh, are very Canadian. I mean, the most Toronto food probably is the back bacon sandwich. We got a lot of tourists, American, Europeans. Uh, the bacon sandwich is to Toronto what. Montreal smoked meat is to Montreal. The international variety, the selection that you find at the St. Lawrence Market, you won't find anywhere else. Many chefs come here to, uh, to do their shopping for, for their restaurants and what have you. Uh, when the farmers come on Saturday, it augments that even more so from local, local food. People are uh, reinterested in, in that because also the food networks have given people more impetus to to cook more and, uh, and experiment more. And the market is a great place to uh, to pick all those different ingredients. Here we are at White House Meats in the St. Lawrence Market on a busy Saturday. We specialize in products like uh, venison, muskox, caribou. You know, there's eight different butcher shops here in the St. Lawrence Market. And what makes White House Meats a little different is we have some of the exotics that people like to try every now and then. When I do tours with children here, school kids, I say this is where you would have come to hang out 150 years ago.